Well, I personally haven't tried the yoga, and I, I'm definitely going to go with Diamond and try it out. I mean, it's got to help. It's got to. I mean, it's better than doing nothing. Um, I need to be able, be able to move around again, and I, I'm not able to right now. I guess. I, I mean, like, what's what's the the the? I I, I guess I'm not. You know, I, I, I can't like, give it to you right now. I can't give it to you right now, but by the end of this this week coming up, not this week, but next week. I'll be able to give it to you. And then, uh, again, Nadia runs the whole deal as far as getting everybody set up to get interviewed and all that shit. But you got to want it more than anything, bro. And you got to – it's change or die. How old are you now, Butterbean? I'm 55. Like I said, I can't walk more than four or five steps right now without cane or crutches. Again. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm needing – I mean, I need something. Yeah. Well, that would be a great turnaround story. But again, you know, you have to understand how I do shit, man. You've been a big guy your whole life, though. You know, from what I've seen, you had to be over oh, three. Yeah, I've never been small. No, you never. Yeah, it ain't about getting small. It's about getting you healthier and be able to move. But you also put all that weight and all that shit in your knees and your back and your hips and your shoulders, like you know. You know, again, I don't do the casting part of it. But it would be pretty amazing. If you were there, like there's one area, there's only one, there's only one uh, bedroom that's on the main floor where you don't have to go up any stairs and shit, except for to walk in to get in the place. Which well, I'll tell two. you what, you know, not only having you on the show, which is incredible, but I think, uh, you know, the show uh, gives way to something even bigger. Um, you having a show and a, and a platform like that, but having a man like Butter being on there, I mean, it only spells success. I get it. I get production. I get business. I don't see the problem in it. And if, you know, I, I'm sure the people who work with you are very smart. So as soon as they hear that Butterbean is even a possibility, they're going to jump all over that. But imagine when you talk about changing people's lives and having somebody with a his biggest name as Butterbean, I'm like, that that just feels like if this man can, what excuse do you actually uh, have that you can't do it, you know, and uh, stuff like that. So it's such an honor to have you on a show and everything, but to hear about this possibility, it, it, it makes everything else small. I mean, that's that, that's just amazing and that you're helping people. And, you know, I've only gotten to know Butterbean a little bit since we've been uh, uh, talking and everything. But good grief, man. This just spells his name all over the place. And imagine just I, I get it. You know, I get it. I hate those re reality shows. It, it, it's not them. reality. It's all played out. I, I've been on a few of them. They give you scripts. They start stuff like that. But when you talk about changing real people's lives, I mean, I, that, who wouldn't watch that? I would.